So today we are going to finish chapter two. Chapter two talk about supply and demand, and also another important concept: price elasticity of supply and price elasticity of demand. So first of all, when we talk about changes in demand and changes in supply, it will lead to changes in prices and quantity. But somehow, if we just know the direction, that is not enough. We would like to know how much the price change will lead to quality changes. So for example, uh, business people, for example, you're going to get stimulus check, $5,000 from the government. So they would like to know how much they have to cut the price to entice your consumption, and how much they're going to increase in their sales, so that how many more materials, vegetables, meat, etc. they have to prepare. Okay, still we have to get the basics. So changes in demand and changes in quality demanded. So we treat demand as a function, okay? So demand is a function of price, okay? And price of other goods and income and taste, subsidy, tax, expectation, and number of consumer. Okay? Um, let us try the market of, say, juice. Okay? So it is the market of juice, and we have price, sorry, price of juice and quantity of juice. So here is the demand curve. And as we discussed last time, why? the demand curve was slopes downward because the law of demand. The law of demand tells us that price increases, quantity demand goes down, okay? And price goes down, quantity demand goes up, okay? So you have P1, P2, and here Q1, Q2, right? So price goes up, quantity will go to down, so from Q2 to Q1, right? And so this is changes in quantity demanded, okay? If you have something that is changes in demand, it will shift the curve. If something will shift the curve, it is because of exogenous variable. So Q and P, okay, quantity of juice and price of juice this is called endogenous variable. And let us say other goods. Okay, so for example, milk. So if we talk about talk about the market for milk, it is not juice. So this model focus on juice. So let us say milk. In Taiwan, usually winter is a better weather for cows. So cows produce milk. So because the weather is better, so they produce more. So let us say if the production level, okay, so supply of milk goes up, okay. If supply of milk goes up, according to the law of price, uh, supply and demand, right? If the supply of milk increases, supply curve will shift to the right, okay? So here, again, quantity here is the market of milk. And here it is the uh, price of milk. So what we have is a information. It is a variable. That's weather. Okay. When weather becomes better, 
and the cows produce more milk. So the supply curve will shift to the right. Okay, so what do you get? You get, here is, usually when we say equilibrium, we use star, okay, P star and then Q star. And so because we have better weather, and so supply of milk, okay, goes up. Goes up, then the supply curve shifts to the left, to the right. So what you get? You get the quantity of milk supply goes up, right? So this is, is an exogenous variable to the juice market. So what will happen to the demand curve here? Okay, so we have two information, right? First, the weather gets better, and the cows produce more milk, and so they get more productive. So that's what you get, increase in supply. So then what will happen to the demand curve here, to this model? So this is about juice, right? That is about milk. So what is the quantity of milk? to this model. It is an endogenous variable or exogenous variable. Which one? So need it. What is the variable changes there to this model? It is exogenous or endogenous. Okay, exogenous means outside. Endogenous means inside. So exogenous variable means it is outside the model. Okay, endogenous means it is inside model. Okay, then it is. So what will happen? We have information there, right? What will happen to this model? What changes? Wu Dongye. Excuse me? Shift left. Okay? Because of the increase in supply, right? People consume more milk, right? And milk and juice are substitute. Okay, they are substitute. So what happened? So demand decreases. Because milk and juice are two different things. There are two different markets. The market there is for milk, and the market here is for juice. And so here you have changes in exogenous variable. That's outside the model, right? Outside the model of juice. So because of that, it is changes in demand, not changes in quantity demanding. Okay, so when first we talk about here the price of juice, okay, the quantity of juice, so that's changes in quantity demanding, okay? And for other goods, we have at least two. One is substitute, and the other one is complement. Okay? So now let's get to the cases of complement. Okay, so what do we have? We have electric car. and electricity. I think this is quite natural, right? If you drive an internal combustion engine like gasoline or diesel, right? Then, you know, you need to have oil. You need to have gas. But if you drive an electric car, what do you need? You need to have electricity, okay? And so what happened in China now? What happened in China now about electricity? Excuse me? Go ahead. Right? So, can you run electric car without electricity? No. So what happened? Demand will go... So if there is no electricity, right? Demand for electric cars will go down. And for gas engine will go up, or diesel car will go up, okay? So we finished two. What about income? We have example last time before.
Okay, let's get to the meal market here. Um, Zhang Bochao, can you tell me your opinion about the price of milk? Is price of milk cheap? Is milk cheap to you or expensive to you? Milk. Expensive, expensive right? Expensive. But you know, when I was a kid, it is even more expensive. But you know, is milk good for you? Health. Is milk good for your health? Good. For what? Because milk has calcium. So what is calcium? Right, exactly. Okay? And so in Japan, two years ago in Japan, uh, the government offered each student a bottle of milk. Okay? Because of what? Because it's good for your health. Okay? And in Taiwan, because of that, uh, people know that, especially little kids, because you're going to grow up, right? You need calcium to grow your bones, to grow your teeth, right? And so, what I'm talking about is here, income. My mom and my father, you know, they know about this, meal will do you good. But do they have money to buy it? No, right? But I think most of you, if you really want to, you have the money to buy it, right? So because, so let us say there's a report about the good things milk can do to your house. Grow bigger, grow larger, right? And so here, demand will go up. If there's a report, okay, about the good health that milk can bring, and also we have growing income, right? Your income goes up, so what happened? You will buy it, okay? So this kind of good, we call it normal goods. When your income goes up, you buy more, okay? When your income goes up, you buy more. That is normal good. And this time we have example about this. So probably during your high school days, that you ride a bike to school. But at this point, what do you do? You ride a motorcycle. Usually, uh, we call it motorcycle in Taiwan. But in uh, US, sometimes it will call bike. Sometimes call scooter. Sometimes call moped. OK? But basically, what they talk about is motorcycle, OK? So in this case, when your income go up, okay, from senior high school to university students, then you get more money from your parents. And so you forget about your bicycle and you use scooter or more pad. And so your bicycle will be inferior goods. Okay? So when your income goes up, you forget about it. That is what we call inferior goods. And for those that, when your income goes up, you buy more. That's called normal goods. So milk can be normal goods. Scooter can be normal goods. And your bicycle will be inferior goods. But this is just an economic concept. It doesn't really tell you about the quality of bicycle. Okay, I used to have a very good one. It's called carbon fiber bike. What is carbon fiber? Huang Xiu Hui. What is carbon fiber? Excuse me? Exactly. Is it good or bad? Excellent. Very light. You can hold it with two fingers. Very light, but very expensive. Is it good? Yes, it's good. So inferior goods does not refer to quality. Okay, quality can be very good, but you know, just because of income, so you change your behavior. Okay, we've uh, finished income, and then taste.
well, is anyone wearing a gin? Anyway, let me try something else. Because, uh, so, there are many things we can say about chess, but I will just give you one example, right? Uh, how many of you do not have cell phone? Probably none, right? So, because in the past, you may use a lot of uh, other, for example, what is Xbox? It is a video game machine, right? And also PS1, 2, 5, okay? But you know, cell phones has more functions now, right? So, a lot of people, they use cell phone to play games rather than Xbox or PS, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, right? And so, because of the change in taste, what about this? The price goes down, right? Because your demand for them goes down, right? And what about the price for phone? Then you use more, right? So the price will go up a little bit. Uh, what else? I think I can say many things about that. Taste. Okay, how many of you still watch TV? How many of you still watch TV? Raise your hand. Very few, right? Because your cell phone provides you a lot more fun. And also, YouTube, you know, you can watch a lot of programs, even movies. So what about the demand for TV? Goes down. You know, in the US, it's quite interesting. A lot of people don't have TVs because you don't need it, right? Because your cell phone can provide you a lot of information. So then you can see a lot of changes there. The commercial for TV used to be very expensive, but now because fewer people watch TV now, so the commercial price goes down. So then, Lian Yuxiang, what is commercial that I'm referring to? Commercial. No. Chen Zixuan. Okay. So for example, uh, you watch a TV program, right? And so, suppose after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and the host say, we will continue our program right after this message. So what is that? Uh, <laughs> anyway. In between two programs, we basically call it an advertisement. Okay, but because it's TV, we call it commercial. Okay. Okay, so we finished taste. Another change in taste, for example, you have, uh, what is that called? I, you used to have Gap, right? And also Old Navy, right? So what's now fancy for you? You have Zara, right? What else? But what about Zara? I don't think Zara can attract your attention now. What about Under Armour? Under Armour, um, sorry. <laughs> I can't quite remember how to uh, spell it. Anyway, fashion. Okay, I'm going to talk about fashion. Fashion is like a wing. When it blows to a different direction, you forget about it, right? Another one is called uh, Uniqlo, but Taiwanese pronounce it Uniqlo, right? Uniqlo, but, you know, so fashion is just so fickle. Okay, fickle. What's fickle? It changes very easily, okay? It changes very easily, so. Anyway, subsidy. If we put a subsidy on your education, right, you're going to study more, okay? And if we put a subsidy on gasoline, so you're going to consume more gasoline, ride more bicycle, okay? What 
why I'm talking about this? Because there are two competition. One is electric car. Electric, let us say bike. And the other one, of course, is uh, uh, we call, just called gasoline. Uh, the real term is internal, internal combustion, combustion engine. Okay. In the past, Taiwanese government put a lot of subsidy on electric car. Who is the, which one is the company benefit most from this policy? It is called Gold. Louder. Overall, exactly. But you know, SYM, what's the other company? Kimco, right? Kimco. Sorry, I don't know. Is it KY? Okay, okay. I. KY, okay. So when the government puts subsidy on Gogoro, of course, Gogoro. Lobby, right? Because they're gonna increase in supply, get more money. And, but you know, let us say it's give uh, the subsidy is given to consumers, so you love it, right? Because it could be sixty thousand dollars, then you know it's lower than that. Say you get ten thousand dollars subsidy, you only pay fifty thousand out of it, twenty percent off. So that's good news. And so these two guys feel upset. They say you cannot do that because we need to survive. And what happened? The government cut the subsidy to go around. So what happened this year? The demand goes down. Okay? So tax is the other side of subsidy. You put a tax on cigarette, beetle nuts. Can anyone tell me what's beetle nuts? Chen Pei Wen. Beetle nuts, Tembewa. where is Tembewa? Beetle nuts. Taiwanese, uh, some Taiwanese love it. When you chew it, your mouth gets red. Yes. So do you agree to put a tax on beetle nuts? Yes, because it hurts people, you get cancer, right? But if you put a tax on beetle nuts, what will happen? Someone will lose the vote, right? You're going to lose the seat. You won't be a mayor again. Okay. Expectation. Um, I believe this time we'll talk about it here. You know, TSMC, TSMC, rumor has it, no one knows that whether it's true or not because it has not happened now. Rumor has it that TSMC want to be a factory in Chaotou, right? So what happened to the Housing market in Chaotou goes up dramatically. Okay, so expectation. Number of consumers. I have tried to predict that you know the price of houses in Taiwan going to go down because we have population aging. You've got fewer babies, right? And you get a lot of old people say, do they really need new houses? No. But what happened? Even though you have fewer consumers, fewer buyers of houses, but the housing market keep booming because of expectation. Okay, so a lot of people treated houses as an investment, really. Okay, so uh, for my for the generation of my father, my mother, my grandfather, my grandmother. You know, when they have money, what do they do? They buy land, they buy houses. Okay, so that's a kind of bad, because supposedly everyone needs a place to stay, but when it becomes so expensive, it's really depressing. Okay, we'll finish this part. Um, demand, questions? Any questions? Okay, we're going to get to supply. Okay, 
Let us try Mio again. So the same thing you have, changes in demand, sorry, changes in supply, and changes in quantity supply. Okay, so it's a function of S, the price of itself, and for the price of itself, the price of milk, it will uh, causes changes in quantity supply. Okay, we say the law of supply: price goes up, you more, you sell more, right? Price goes down, you sell less because when the price goes up, you can earn more. Of course, you're gonna produce more. Okay, and then price of other goods. Okay, and then technology, and then subsidy. Tax and cost. Number of suppliers. And then expectation. Okay. So for let us say the price is P1 here and Q1 here. And when the price goes up, right, to P2, what happened? Price goes up from P1 to P2, then you have quantity increase from, sorry, Q1 to Q2. So this is changes in quantity supply. Okay, changes in quantity supply. And then we talk about the price of other goods. Okay, the price of other goods. So for example, I think boys not cost, right? So one chun. So one chun. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea about cars? Which other, which kind of car is more popular now? We have sedan, and the other one is SUV. Which one is more popular? No idea. What's a sedan? Like Toyota, Corolla, Toyota, Camry, Toyota crossover. Probably not. <laughs> anyway. You don't know anything about cars. Let me try a gentleman, right? Gentleman. Hong Dao Chen. What kind of car would you like? Which car? Which kind of car is more popular now? Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> okay. Let us talk about make. What you mentioned is make. Toyota is a make. Honda is a make. Okay, then model. Okay, so Camry is a model. Okay, uh, what Corolla is a model. We are talking about which type of car. We are not talking about make. Okay. I suppose if I were you, I would like Maserati, right? Or maybe Ferrari. That's even better. We are talking about which kind of car. Anyway, uh, if it is too difficult, then I will change it to another topic, like Shen Zhi Shuai. Yes. Which kind of car is more popular now? Sedan. So for example, Toyota, Camry, used to sell very well. But now, which one is more popular? RAV4, right? RAV4. And the other one is uh, Corona Cross. SUV, sport utility vehicle. Okay, because it is the same kind of car, right? But it has more space, it's more roomy. Okay, you can put more things in there. And because people love outdoors. So because of that, this kind of car is more popular, it sells more. Okay? So for producer, for producer, what will they do? They change their production line. They used to produce sedan, they close it now and change it to produce SUV. Okay? For example, just like you, 
Um, you use.